Mom. You really shouldn't use these foam containers because the release of fluorocarbons during the manufacturing process is damaging our ozone layer. I thought I heard someone. It's late. Why aren't you sleeping? I can't sleep. Where are Eric and Michael? I don't know. Would you like me to get you something to eat? No, I can't eat. Come here. She said anything to you about it? About what? Us, the marriage, the divorce. Not really. Do you think she's seeing somebody else? Somebody else? Yeah, you know, like a boyfriend or something. Nah. You sure she hasn't been going out with some other guy? Not as far as I know of. She hasn't mentioned another guy or talked about another guy? No. She is Eric's wife. Did you give her any reason to think you love her? Did you say anything to her that she might have misunderstood? I gotta get back to work, Mom. I don't even know you anymore. You quit college. You spend money as if it's an endless supply. And then you break up your brother's marriage. I didn't want to break up his marriage. I didn't break up his Linda marriage. Linda thinks you love her. Well, what exactly can I do about that? Make it clear. Tell her you don't. I trust you, Michael. We have a situation here where nobody's at fault. It's not Linda's fault she's attracted to you. It's not your fault you're attracted to her. And it's not your fault that they're getting divorced. Still, we have to consider Eric's feelings. Don't you think I know that? It wouldn't do him any good to find out about this. Look, I'm not gonna walk up to him and say, hey, Eric, I, I fell in love with your wife. I just wanted to make sure we were in sync. Mac, this has been the worst couple of months of my life. Maybe somewhere down the line you won't feel so miserable. Well, I hope not. This is what love is like, I don't need it. You're a good man, Michael. I'm proud of you. Now I know what the problem with my marriage is, Michael. You. No. You're the problem. That's not true. You gonna deny it, punk? Eric. I heard everything you said, punk. I didn't do anything. What's that supposed to mean? It means I didn't do anything. Nothing happened. I guess that means you didn't have sex with my wife. I didn't. But it doesn't mean you didn't do anything. It doesn't mean nothing happened. You did something. You ruined my marriage. That was not my fault. Whose fault was it? I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I asked you if Linda was seeing someone else, and you said no. We weren't seeing each other. No, you were just falling in love. 
This isn't fair. You can say that again. Michael. You can go to work. Is Eric inside? He left. Where'd he go? I don't know. He packed and left. What? Back to Saudi Arabia. Back to school. I don't know. He's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? Did you tell him? I didn't tell him. He found out. No, don't. Just don't say anything. You're gonna make me cry, okay? You know what's so backwards about this whole mess is that everyone blames me for the divorce. I just want you to understand. But the truth is that I had a crush on your brother. A crush. Just a crush. And the mistake was marrying him. But you... I love you. And it's not just a crush. I'm not marrying you. And that's the mistake everyone should be blaming me for, and nobody is. getting so big. <laughs> mm. Did Linda say where she was going? Yeah, she's gonna be staying in a motel until she finds an apartment. Oh. Can she afford it? I don't know. Weeks ago, I asked you if Eric and Linda were getting along and how Linda was doing. You knew then, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? What good would it have done? I'm trying to figure out where things went wrong. Well, so am I, Mom. So am I. All day long, I've been trying to figure out where things went wrong, and I can't. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't mean to fall in love with a woman I shouldn't fall in love with. Eric didn't do anything wrong. Linda didn't do anything wrong. We all did what we thought was the right thing to do. What's that? Are you taking that to Linda? No. I'm moving out. Michael. Bye, Mom. What? Michael, wait, where are, you, where are you going? I'm gonna stay with Harold for a while. Goodbye.